Hello, this is Sharif for Just Nailed It, and welcome to She Modern Saturday. I know it's been a while, but we are back. We had a fun-filled month of December with Charlie's Nail Art. And now we're back to our normal schedule. So today, got some beautiful nails here before us. I'm using Stamping Plate Nicole Diary 261. I received this as a Christmas gift from Brandy from BRC Nails. Tipsxpieces.com so I love this plate. I love dragonflies and damselflies. I think they are beautiful. So that's what we're going to be doing here today. I've got one nail stamp, which this is this image here. It's the wing of the of the, butter, of the dragonfly. So is this is an up close and personal view, where you can fill in with the watercolors, which is what I'm going to do. We'll do all our stamping first, then come back in with the watercolors and wait for them to dry. Um, I got my She Modern Reinforced Stamper, my SheModern.com Scraper, everything is She Modern. My stamping polishes, my watercolors, it's my top coat. I'm using a top coat by She Modern. Shiny Gloss No Wipe Gel Top. So we're going to give this a whirl today, see how that works out for us. So, we're going to go in with this image here, all the dragonflies. We're going to use the sticky black glitter remover. Some ladies like to use acetone to each their own. I like the remover better. I think the acetone clouds the images. But like I said, to each their own. Scrape your image. Go in with a pickup. Get your lint roller and take off any excess that you do not want on the nail. And with Shima and her sticky stamping polishes, you always get a beautiful, beautiful pickup. So we are going to center this on our nail. It came out beautiful. Beautiful. So we're going to skip the middle finger right now. We'll come back to it. Clean off your lit roller. Clean off your stamping plate. Our next image is going to be. I didn't plan this one out too well. We will take the take the blue royal blue sticky stamping polish. Hopefully this works. Get your pickup, but it's hard to see. Oh, so hard to see. I thought the blue was going to be more profound, like the black. But it is not. So that one may be a shoot. Dropping everything off on the floor. This was a brand new plate before I started. I did prime it. Our thumbnail, we are going to put... I think I'm going to use this image right here. Cover your image. With your lint roller, get a beautiful, beautiful pickup. Take off the excess that you do not want.
There we go. We'll let that one dry. Now we are going in with the white sticky stamping polish. We're going to get a rose. stamping white on white but you will see why in a minute what I'm going to do is take the sheet of red foil which is by she modern I'm gonna hold and press that down into the stamping polish just hold it rub it just slightly just uh, but don't rub back and forth like you do when you use your regular foil, try to transfer them, just hold this down. Let me get my fluffy brush. Well, my rose does not look like it should. Kind of bummed about that. Okay, so now we're gonna go back in with a dragonfly. I'm gonna use the pearl purple. Stamper. I made it here, which I wish the rose would have turned out better. But it's got this excess here, and I did it over a matte nail. But there's still the excess. And on my palette here, I've got three jelly watercolors. I've got pink, royal blue, and green. I'm going to shake these up. That way you know your... Watercolor is going to mix properly. I'm going to put a dollop of each color. This here is just blue. I thought it might have been a royal blue, but it's just a blue. So I can put my cap on that. I've got me a brush, which is probably too big. I need a thinner brush. <coughs> oh my goodness. So we're gonna go in and cover I need to wipe my brush 
Okay. Alrighty, here we go. We're gonna go with the feet. We're going with the green. We'll play him in a frame. You put these colors up in any random order you would like. Colors, which means they have to dry. Whoopsie! So I'm gonna go here, color the leaves in, the wings, I mean. Just to give it a little bit of color here and there. Just a little bit. I put me on a dollop of water. Just to kind of thin this out a little bit. This blue here is just a little bit too dark for me. I'm going to try to spread that out. Put in with the pink. Dragon and damselflies are very colorful. They are very beautiful. I love, love, love seeing them. Okay, let's see what we can do here with this one. You're going to want to brace your hands. And not many people notice that I do that, but I do. My hand is always anchored. Learning acrylics. Um, I anchor my hand. This finger is always anchored somehow, some way. Always anchored. So it's a good habit to get into. Because my hand does get shaky, it's not always so steady, but if you're anchoring, it does help. It really does. So I'm going to wipe my brush off here. I'm going to go in with some blue. Blue, blue, blue. Tell water. Same thing over here. Hope I am in a frame. We'll go back in with the paint maybe right here. Let my brush off again. Let me go in with the blue. Just slightly here and there. Anchor your finger. Go back in with the green. Go 
for the head here. I wish I had yellow, but I don't. I think that looks really cute. Oh, so here we go with our dragonfly. Remember these do need to air dry? I think I'm going to put some green down here at the bottom. Let's give this one a little bit of color. Just a little bit. Now, She Modern makes a foil sealer. Let me open this puppy up. I'm going to take the foil sealer over the rose. Really wish it had turned out right. That really bummed me out. So there that is over the, over the rose. And now we sit and wait for the watercolors to dry. So let's, let's shoot. Once they have, we will be back. Alrighty, we are back. Our nails are dry, so we're now going to use the She Modern Shiny Gloss No White Top Coat. We're going to see how this does us. So far, so good. Sorry if I'm not in frame. Float it over your image. Two more to do. I wish this nail had turned out better. Well, what to do? There we go, our nails are top coated. I'm gonna pop these in the lamp for a full to check out shemodern.com. They have a catalog. I mean they have all kinds of products. You know, they have all kinds of the sticky stamping, they have the opaque, they have the jellies, the metallics, the neons, a lot of great products in the catalog, you know, to shop for. So check out SheModern.com and at checkout, use my 10% off code. I am a brand ambassador for SheModern. Nailed at 67, all in caps. Save yourself 10% off at checkout. I'd greatly appreciate it. You can help you to help me, help me to help you. So our nails are finished. Beautiful. I think they look great glossy. Especially this with all the different colors in the black. I think that looks really nice. Same with this nail. Love this nail. Not happy about this one. Well, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my Dragonfly Damsel Manny today. I think it turned out well, except the one nail, but you know. How do I say this? Whoops. Whoopsie. Trial and error. So leave a comment. Please subscribe. Ring the bell. Click all on the bell. That way you get notified of all future uploads. I greatly appreciate it. Helps my channel grow. Well, that is it for today. We will see you next Saturday for She Modern Saturday. Have yourselves a blessed day and thank you.